Good morning. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new day with a cup of coffee, AKA my little cup of hope. Although I don't feel hopeful today and I hope <laughs> that you don't mind. Every August, I feel so sad. I feel like I've mentioned it, like last August, I was definitely unwell. Um, I thought last August, you agree? I was unwell? All right, well, what do you think you are, sane? Hmm, debatable. Last August, I just thought that I was going through it because my dad was really sick, clearly, big factor in the going through it. This summer, maybe because my dad passed away in January and I didn't see him all summer and summer is like his season, I don't know. But I just feel like I always feel terrible in August. I always have like a downward slope. I just like don't feel pretty, I don't feel, stop. Don't rip the, don't rip the carpet. Look at this psychopath. Sure, now you stop when the camera's on you. Okay, we don't wanna see that. I hate saying this because I hate when people like rush my life away. Um, uh, maybe it's like, because I know that the summer's coming to an end and it's like I have anxiety to like hold on and like pause the time. I feel uncomfortable in my skin and it always happens in August. Honestly, I haven't had anxiety like this and since my dad was sick. And it's so weird. I don't know if I've, I've mentioned this, but like when my dad was sick, I have never experienced anxiety like that in my life. And I think it's because my dad was so sick that I knew that it was never gonna get to a point where he was like better. Um, so it's just like that inevitable like feeling of doom, like the doom, it's coming. But like, when is it coming? If you ask, my mother, I've always been a very anxious person. In college, I would get such bad anxiety. I would break out in like hives all over my hands. I don't know. Do any of you guys get sad in the summer? It's so weird. And like, I never understood that song. But my God, I am just like in my feels. I woke up this morning to like so many emails. It's like really wild. And I think that that's really contributing to my anxiety. The volume of emails that I get, it just like gives me heart palpitations. Put my phone on sleep mode at night, which highly recommend. If you don't do it, you should do it. So I put it on sleep mode. And then in the morning when I take it off sleep mode, it's like bing, 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 bing. Like 55 emails and I just wake up in a panic. I'm heading to my mom's, I'm so late. Today has been so crazy busy. Um, it's a little after one and I was supposed to leave like 30 minutes ago, but work got in the way, which everyone understands. I have been nonstop wearing this aloe dress since I showed it to you guys. And also I packed my Michael Kors bag because if you watch my handbag video, I mentioned that like when I go to my mom's, when I'm working, I always pack this bag just because it fits so much shit. Can't see anything, but I have my laptop. I have my charger. I have turtles because my mom loves them and I saw them in ShopRite and thought of her. I have wrist bands for my brother to give him for his watch. I have my pouchette. I have glasses, like this is just an, an endless abyss. And while I love this bag, the fact that it's black inside, I can't see anything. I really can't. And I have an organizer. Here is my outfit. Oh my God, this is so heavy. Ooh, can you see me? Here's my outfit. Like I said, I really can't get enough of this dress. I think it's because it has a built-in bra and built-in shorts. I just feel like so comfortable in it. I have my bag, I have my Birkenstocks. I love these. I don't know what it is about these. They're the most comfortable ones that they make. And I have a little cardigan that I'm gonna throw on because you know, it's usually freezing in my mom's house. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, but I just wanted to check in because I worked out. Oh my God, I didn't even film my workout. I'm so sorry. I'm doing a terrible job, but I promise. I promise it will get better. Good morning. It is a brand new day. And you might be wondering why my eyebrows look crazy. Uh, maybe you can't really tell. I used to listen to a ton of podcasts like Screw the 9 to 5, Boss Babe, and like other kind of entrepreneurial podcasts. But then I really got to a point where I was listening to too many things that were making me feel like I wasn't doing enough. Like, you know when you do like too much self-help kind of backfires on you? I feel like all I did was listen to self-help podcasts and all I did was read self-help books. So I fell off the bandwagon for a very long story short. But then the other day, well, since I'm working from home this week and next week, I was like, what can I do? like when I'm cleaning, just like to do something else. So instead of listening to music, which I love listening to music, 
I listened to Skinny Confidential and I think her husband. They interviewed Anastasia Beverly Hills. So interesting, so crazy that she came from like a communist country. She came here and basically like learned to do eyebrows and like mastered eyebrows. I didn't know that when you like measure out your eyebrows, it's called the golden ratio. I just thought we were all measuring out our eyebrows, but I watched a video. I think it was a Sephora video. I will link it down below and how she maps it out is specific to everyone's face. It's supposed to complement your face the most. So that's what I just did. And I thought I would just hop on here and show you. She says to go to the center of your nostril up and that's where your eyebrow should start. And let me tell you, not to go on a tangent, but my sister and my grandma hate how close my eyebrows are, but I really genuinely, and I have always said this, like I just think that that's what complements my face. Where your eyebrow starts, middle of your nostril, up, like that. Then where it ends, you're supposed to take the brow pencil, tip of your nose to the end of your brow. It's a little bit like a smidge longer. Okay, this side, same thing, tip of my nose, end of my brow a smidge longer. When I fill them in, I should fill them in a little bit longer. And I think it's really interesting because everyone started shaving off the tails of their eyebrows, but in this video that I watched, Anastasia said that it leaves too much space between here and here. And basically when your brow is longer, it complements your cheekbones and your jawline. It kind of helps define your face. And then for the arch, she said that you go to the tip of your nose this was hard for me, I don't know. The tip of your nose, and it's hard for me to do while I'm looking at you, to the middle of your iris. So let me do that in the mirror real quick. So tip of my nose to the middle of my iris. Oh, maybe it should be a little bit lower. Tip of my nose to the middle of my iris. Okay, so this one, the arch needs to be back a little bit further, but I also think that my nose is crooked. I'm just making excuses. I very sparingly pluck my eyebrows. Like I leave a lot of hairs. Like I just take whatever is so obvious away with a tweezer, so I already did that. I also haven't been cutting my brows, which this brow sits higher, and I think that this brow could use a trim, but I don't know. I like when I fill them in and then I gel them up, and like it's just when you can like see the hairs so defined because the hairs are so long. I don't know, I'm not a brow expert. I do wanna buy some pure castor oil and start putting it in my brows just because I feel like I'm a rough sleeper and I think I roll around a lot and I lose the top of my brow often. I filled in my brows. <laughs> they look very bold um, and I think I filled this one in a little bit too high, I don't know, but this is what they look like. But right now I'm making kind of like a very late breakfast. It's 11.45 and I need to work out, but I'm starving. And I wanted to share, I really love these. I don't know how healthy they are. Arnold Sandwich Thins, they're multigrain. They're so freaking good. I'm making two fried eggs on these sandwich thins with one ounce worth of yellow cheese, which my friend is trying to eat the yellow cheese, but he's not gonna eat it, so he's not getting any. So I don't know why you're sniffing. I have my toasted sandwich thins. I'm gonna put cheese on the bottom of the egg. I don't know, I don't like cheese on top of my egg. And now I'm gonna take my fried eggs, lay them on top, let the cheese get all melty underneath. A little bit of salt, or a lot of bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. Stab, mm-hmm, because we love a runny egg in this household. Yum, yum, yum. And there we go, bon appetito. Mm -hmm. So good, oh my God. I'm sorry, just like look at this. Just like look at this. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is why I love being home, just because we can eat things like this. I don't have to buy like a $25 salad in the city. to the cellar 
This is our fancy seller behind the kickboxing bag. And clearly we went through some wines, but honestly, like I said, we really haven't been drinking that much, but we have been dipping quite often into the good stuff. I kind of feel like having this Chardonnay. So let's go throw this in the fridge and make a little dinner. Very easy dinner. I'm no chef. It's honestly just been a day of work, laundry, my laser hair removal my body. I still don't know how I say that, how to say that. And just working out, just, it's been quiet and it's been nice. I think I just like really needed it. Throw her in here. Honestly, I don't know why we have this in here. It sounds really bougie, but we don't really drink Josh anymore. That's not very nice, but it's not bad. It's a good wine, but I want to finish my Napa Whites, you know? I have to say, I very much enjoy this time of the day because of the two of them. I love that they just sit by the sliding glass window and just keep me company in the kitchen while I cook. Huh? My sleeping beauty. You've been sleeping for quite a few hours in this bed. Um, he puked in it before, which is why I'm doing an extra load of laundry to clean up the blanket he puked on. <laughs> what else is new? If you're a cat owner, you know. They puke a lot in this one. I feel bad because really she wants to be in this bed, but he is a bully, a hog, a jerk, but he's so cute, we can't help it. Right, Chloe? I love making a caprese salad in the summer. It's so good, so refreshing, delicious. I don't know what it is, but I literally saw these tomatoes. They looked so good. So I just chopped them up like so. Again, super easy. Put them in this little bowl. And then I chopped up a bunch of mutts into small little pieces, put it in the same bowl. Then I added some olive oil, some oregano flakes, because I'm lazy, salt, pepper, and then I put a little bit of garlic powder. And then I mix it up with two forks. Oh my god, it smells so good. I wish I was eating this right now. Voila, looks nice and beautiful and delicious. And then I'm just going to put some plastic wrap on top, throw it in the fridge until it's ready for dinner, and voila, my dinner little meal prep. It's so freaking good. Also, Mike gives me a hard time every time I go to ShopRite because when I go in the summer, all I do is buy peaches, nectarines, and I'm shocked I didn't get plums. And the terrible thing is that our ShopRite, they go bad so quickly. So I'll buy like 10 in total. And then day three, it's like I have to eat two a day, but oh my God, what is your favorite fruit? I really think my favorite fruit, I love the way a nectarine smells. Like, oh my God, if I could smell like a nectarine at all times, I would eat myself, but I just think there's nothing like a Jersey peach. Although this is a white peach, it's not a Jersey peach. And I don't think I got, oh, I did. Excuse me, of course I have it. There's nothing like good old New Jersey peach. Being that I am one, I know when one's good. He looks a little sus. Maybe he should get eaten first. I mean, look at this peach. Is that disgusting? I don't know. I just, I love a peach and I brought a bunch of peaches over the weekend. I brought them to the beach house because my girlfriend Bailey is gluten-free. You know, I wanted her to have snacks that don't have gluten in them. So I thought what's better than a fruit, but I literally only bought peaches and yeah. What did I buy? I bought peaches. And she was like, I'm not a big peach fan. And I was not upset, but I was a little offended because, oh my God, a peach? Mm, peach ASMR, I'd be into that. I'm wondering if anyone else's cat does what my cat is literally about to do. Um, I have two cans here and I'm gonna crack them open. And this guy who's already staring at me because he saw me go into this cabinet right here, is gonna come running over here because the second that I open this, he will be convinced that it is tuna. Okay, look, he's already looking at me. He's already staring. Oh, camera shy. Camera shy, I see. Yeah, you, I'm looking at. Let's open the artichokes because if given the choice between artichokes and olives, I would always choose an artichoke. Ready? One, two. Oh, he didn't come over here. Is it because it's a pull top? All right, wait, wait, wait. Let's try the olives. Watch. Okay. 
I guess it's when I use the can opener. Just kidding, but I'll make sure to get it the next time. Wow, you bamboozled all of us. You made me look like an idiot, rude. Aside from my caprese salad, Mike said that he wanted to make a simple salad, so I literally just went in the cabinet and I found some artichokes, which you know are my favorite. Chopped a bunch of those up, chopped up some black olives, and then I will show you what we threw together momentarily. And everyone knows that I should not be trusted with an artichoke because I will eat the entire can. Artichokes and peaches, man. I don't know what it is. And here is our very simple salad. I put my mutts and tomatoes into the salad. We added artichokes, olives, chicken, a little bit of salt and pepper, and voila. It was actually so delicious and very quick, super easy and nutritious. It is a very gloomy day, but I woke up super early and I got so much crap done. I'm just feeling so good. I feel like productivity, like the more productivity I have in a day, the better I feel. Like, I don't know. I equate productivity with happiness, which might not be healthy, but I'm just feeling really good. I woke up super early. I finished editing my vlog, Fendi bag unboxing vlog with a bunch of other things. If you missed it, I will link it here, but I just got an Amazon delivery. If you guys have been keeping up with me for a really long time, I use Rodan and Fields, their lash growth serum. And I will say that I used to use it every other night. I was looking at old pictures of Mike and I, like when we first got engaged in 2018 and my lashes were full and they were floofy and they looked so, so good. So I tried going back to my Rodan and Fields lash growth serum, but the issue is that I've just become very sensitive to it. I find like I get a lot of redness around my eyes. And if you use a lash growth serum a lot of the time you get discoloration i don't know if you can see but it's like dark around my lash lines that never really bothered me i'm just pointing it out in case it bothers you because i'm gonna try this alternative so heard about castor oil i used to use it but i used to just have like the squeezy tube of it and it would just make a mess. So I decided to go on Amazon and get castor oil. So this is the one that I picked. I picked it really for a couple of reasons, but it's organic, cold pressed, moisturizes and conditions scalp, roots, strands to help support thick, full, healthy looking hair, lashes, and brows. And this one was a little bit more expensive than all the other ones that I found. I think this was like three or $4 more than others that I had in my cart. But I picked this one for the top just because I feel like this top is genius. It's like a little squeezy guy. I could really get into the scalp and put it in directly into the scalp. I don't know. I have a lot of high hopes for this. So I need to, I think I need to remove this. No, there's like a, some kind of thing here. I think I need to take this out. No, without breaking a nail, which I got my nails done and she made them very square. And I find that when my nails are so square, the paint chips, I like to round them. I took that little thing out, so now it should be able to come out. The real reason why I bought this, again, is for my lashes and for my brows because, I don't know, I just feel like we could have a little bit more growth, especially in this brow over here, and also my lashes. So this will serve as my before. So take a gander, take a look. Um, my lashes are not terrible, but they're not very full at all. And this brow is a little sad. She's a little sad up top. So I bought these also on Amazon. I will link all of these things down below, but they're like little mascara tubes. They're empty mascara tubes. This one I picked specifically because it comes with four. So I can leave one here. I can bring one to the beach house. I can put one in my pocketbook if I so choose, but also because they came with stoppers so that it doesn't leak everywhere. And look at the top. It's just so convenient. So I'm gonna put it in like that and I'm gonna squeeze. Wow. Okay, great. You just press it in like that. This just helps make sure that it doesn't leak out of the bottle. And it's plastic, but it looks very luxe. Let me throw the wand in there. Wow. Wow. And there we have it, a little castor oil to go. I also read that this one is not very scented, so I dipped it in. And I'm just gonna do it up. And I feel like this could pose as a not so long lasting brow gel, like a clear brow gel to just keep the brows up. But I'm gonna use this on my brows and I'm gonna use this on my lashes 
And as always, I will keep you informed, but how cool. I don't know. This is very exciting to me. I think I'm going to leave one in here. So let's fill another one and I'll put one in the bathroom. I want to see if I could fill it once the stopper's in because I didn't know how to use the stopper. So I threw the stopper in this one. So I can use them after I put the stopper in. Oh, but I might also... <gasps> Definitely harder. It does make a mess. Um, so I think I do need to take the stopper out. I just don't know how to do that. I filled one and did not put the stopper in and I'm gonna leave it on my vanity just like sitting up like this so that that one's like easy to refill. And then this one that has the stopper, I made a mess. It's all like oily, but you just gotta like shove it in and like force it in. Can you see? I'm just like ignoring the fact that it's getting everywhere. <laughs> Definitely harder. You've been forewarned. I'm just gonna take the excess, put it on my hands just because it's a very nourishing oil. You can use this all over your body. Oh, and I forgot. Mm. There we go. Once the stopper's in, I forgot that it came with this. You can, no, it still hates it. Okay, well, welcome to my arts and crafts. This was a terrible idea. Should you decide to buy it, you know what to do and what not to do. I was in such a rush before that I didn't get to show you my outfit of the day. Actually, let me turn this light off because I feel like it makes everything look wonky. I need to clean this room. So that is what's on my agenda because it's just a hot mess. I did vacuum though. So that was one thing accomplished, but I got these pants and normally these are would not be a me kind of pant just because they're very Gen Z. And I don't mean that to be offensive, but I grew up with skinny jeans. I didn't grow up with pants looking like this. Like this is very, I would just think these are too big for me and they're pleated, but I will say that they are high-waisted, which I love. Um, they're a little wrinkly because I did drive around and sit in the car for a long time, but I wanted to show you, who's that? Oh, it's my grandma. Hi grandma. I wanted to show you these because I bought them at Banana and I feel like because they're white, they'll probably go on sale soon, but they're so cute, so comfortable. I get so many compliments whenever I wear them, which again, I find to be shocking because they are pretty big and I am very petite. I'm five foot two, I weigh 118 pounds. I also really love this Ula, I think it's Ula Johnson, this top, but I got it from Rent the Runway, so I do have to send it back, but it has a zipper and it's just very sophisticated. I went to lunch with my sister, my grandma, and my mom, and I wore this today because I knew my mom was gonna love it. She told me it's very classy looking, which I knew that she would say. Um, I did not wear my slippers out, but I wore my Burks. And I gotta say, ever since I filmed my handbag video and I somewhat like shot all over my Michael Kors two-toned tote, I've been wearing it so much. Like I literally, I think it's because I'm working from home though and I've been going from place to place. I've literally taken it out every single day this week. I just wanted to give you an update because I showed you this little tray that my sister got me but like how perfect is that it is the perfect size for my rings every day i come home i take my rings off and i wash my hands and i am literally in love with it it makes me so happy also don't laugh at my snack drawer but i need to put you onto something it's a mess in here because i've been to shop right the last two days and i bought these i am a pop chip queen that is my nickname i am the pop chip queen of port authority and i got that nickname because every time mike and i would go out drinking and i'd get a little tipsy i'd buy pop chips at port authority on my way home uh, these are the best pop chips i've ever had they are so delicious mike is not a big pop chip fan but he tried these barbecue ones i bought four bags of them today because my shop right ruins everything look at this it's a terrible in here i really need to organize this but honestly there's no way to even organize it nicely because I have so many of these bags in here but my shop right sucks and they're definitely gonna run out of the pop chips they're gonna stop they're gonna stop with the barbecue chips I know it so I literally bought four of them and I left two just in case anyone else is as obsessed with them as I am and wanted to buy them I was alone for dinner tonight and I really wanted gnocchi I will put the recipe that I found down below but I basically just threw the gnocchi in a skillet with olive oil heated it through it's nice and crispy it's so good I then added tomatoes and basil to the skillet heated that through and and then I just put a little bit of chopped nuts on top. Salt, pepper, called it a day. It was quite delicious.
weather today has been seriously crazy. We woke up to pouring rain, so we decided to not head down to the beach house. And then it was really nice out, and now it looks like it's gonna rain again. So I don't think we're gonna go until later, but I had like not such a great day yesterday. I just like was not, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I woke up and I felt a little emotional and then I worked out and then Tim McGraw, if you know me, you know me and Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw is my favorite artist of all time. Every time I go see him, I cry without fail. He came out with his new standing room only album yesterday. And when I tell you that this was the first time in, I don't even know how long have I been listening to Tim McGraw since like freshman year of high school. How old are you freshman year of high school? Like 14? So like for the first time in like almost 10 years. No, more than that. I can't do math. 14. I'm 32, you do the math. 18 years, did I do the math right? Not sure. I didn't listen to his album all the way through. And normally when he releases an album, like I go back in the day, I used to buy the CD, I would listen to it a good, as many times as I could possibly fit the album in a day. I don't know, eight, 10, 10 times a day. And this was the first time I did not listen to his album all the way through because I just couldn't handle it. I just couldn't handle it and that's okay. And I told myself that just because I couldn't listen through doesn't mean I'm still not his number one fan. It just means I'm a little emotional. Crazy, I know. I'm drinking a Celsius. Everyone and their mother used to drink these at my old job and now I'm drinking it. I like the orange one, but it's kind of like so bad that it's like acceptable. I also did just wash my hair, which is why it looks crazy. I'm gonna do a hair video soon, but also I haven't been sleeping in a hair bonnet. I haven't been sleeping in a braid and I cannot tell you how many broken hairs I have atop of my head. So I need to get back into that. I've just, honestly, I've just been a little lazy lately. I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to show you this makeup that I bought and honestly I bought it because Tati raved about this eyeshadow palette and she swatched it in a video when I was just like, I need to have it. It was sold out on Amazon. So I bought it through the actual website, ZC. It took like a month to get here. I unboxed them this morning. Just like, look at how cute the packaging is. So obviously it's cat themed. Look at this gold cat. I almost like don't even want to throw this packaging out. It's so cute. You can find it on Amazon. I should have bought it on Amazon, but again, Again, I didn't but so I wanted to get these super cute look at how cute that is like so friggin cute with the cats and y'all know I love cats obviously the actual packaging of the two eyeshadow palettes like how stinking cute is that and then wait it gets even cuter so this is the one that Tati recommended but look at how stinking cute that is do you see the detailing do you see that cat with the stars around it and then this one has flowers a little ASMR for you. I'm terrible at those kind of things. But here's, hey, Inception. Here's the little packaging. It's so cute and it's a magnetic closure. Fanciful. And then I got this one, which I don't remember, but I will definitely put them down below with this little cat. I don't know, which one do you think looks more like Brogan? I would think this one looks a little bit more like Brogan. And look at the little fishies. It's just like so, do you see that detailing? It's crazy, and the little kitty cat. But I was a little let down because the blush that I bought, not, not cute packaging. There's no cats on it. But the inside, look at how cute that is. I will put all of the makeup that is on my face down below because I seriously want to start doing that for you guys. I'm sorry, kitty. I really don't even want to do this, but it's a very like subtle. Can you see that? Very pretty peach. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my God, guys, that's so pretty. Do you see that? Can you see the difference? That is such a pretty color. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. A part of me when I bought this was like, no, let's just keep it classy and, and let's keep it classy. I don't know. I'm just trying to step into like this new era of me, just like a classier era, but honestly, I can't. Like this is so freaking cute. And I'm so glad that I got this blush because my God color is freaking that color is freaking beautiful okay well love this did i mention that i got this because tati has this one and it's just so pretty and honestly when she swatched this shade i'll swatch it for you right now i don't think i want to use this though this is like very pinky it's just like a see-through pink glitter like you, you see it doesn't have a lot of pigment on the back 
so you can kind of see my skin through it. So pretty. But anyway, I think this one's called Rosé. I'm not going to use this because I feel like my vibe is a little bit more neutral today. So I'm going to use this one. Now, that one's a lot prettier, the one that I just swatched, than the metallic on this one. This one's much more muted. You see, you can hardly see it in comparison. Okay, I'll use the both of them mixed together. These mattes were just screaming my name. So Tati recommended this one, so I had to get the one that Tati recommended. But if you know me, I love Tati and she has great taste in makeup, but I prefer different colors than Tati. I feel like her skin is darker than me. She has blue eyes. We're just different. We have a different vibe, which is cool because that's the beauty of makeup. You know, everyone can have their own vibe. I take a floof and I'm just gonna take this Say goodbye to this kitty. This color right here, it's just like a really, really pretty brown. Oh my God, this is giving me life. When was the last time that I tried makeup with you guys? I honestly don't remember. I feel like I've been doing so much vlogging lately. And let me know if you like the vlogging or if you want more of a mix. This is really pretty. It's a really pretty brown. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. Merit came out with those one pot cream eyeshadows. And I have to say, I bought this eyeshadow and then the other day, I think it was, who was it? I think it was Natasha Denona came out with a new palette and I saw it and was like, wow, I really want it. My vibe has really not been any eyeshadow at all. But when I do my eyeshadow, I just feel so happy. It's just gotten to the point where I like more of a minimalist routine because I can get on with my day quicker and sometimes you just have a lot to do. But I feel like in doing it that way, I forget how much I love makeup. Like the other day I was literally thinking about my YouTube channel and was like, maybe I'm just not into beauty as much as I was. Like maybe I should just kind of do the vlogs. Beauty, I feel like has always been such a part of my life. I remember being a little girl and like thinking of myself getting ready for bed and like having like a 10 step skincare routine and like nighttime routine when I was little, like I would dream of that. And now that's who I am. I don't do 10 steps because I realized that my skin cannot handle too much and that I've learned as I've gotten older that sometimes less is more, but I just can't deny how good I feel when I do my makeup. I know this is so sappy and I'm so sorry if this is like gag city. I'm gonna go into the rosé. I'm gonna kind of just like keep this to the back. Yeah, I love eyeshadow, I really do. I miss sitting down and just doing my makeup. So I'm really happy that I'm doing this right now. I don't know, this is just bringing me a lot of joy. Wow, this is nice. I very much so like this. These two are very similar. This one's a little lighter and this one's a little beigier. I think I'm gonna take the lighter one and kind of just do a wash with a different fluffy brush just to like blend it all together. Just so that if it's not even, this will help even it out. The shadow. See how that just like washed it all out a little bit? God, I love makeup. What was what was she thinking? Let's go into this shade because, oh my God, it's like wet. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's giving me like Fenty, how many carrots vibes. Wow. See, I knew it. The second that I saw Tati swatch this, I was like, I need, I need it. I need that in my life. I'm going to finish my makeup, okay? And then I'll check back in because I need to get the makeup going. I don't know what's going on with me lately, but I have not been interested in putting a lipstick on. Like I put a little bit of gloss and a lip liner on. I don't know what it is. I'm just not in the mood for a lipstick as I grab this. I don't know. I've just been really into like a light undone lip. I just, I don't know what it is. I feel like it kind of flatters my face. Let me know down below. In the, this little like self-critical moment that I've been having recently, I just find that like, I just feel more comfortable with less makeup. I don't know. Is that weird? Anywho, here's the eyes, the eyeshadow. Guys, it's so pretty. I honestly can't get over these little cat eyeshadows and it, it was worth the wait. Like, because just the rose shade right here, this little highlight shade that I swatched for you. Oh my God, it is so freaking good. Also wanna show you my outfit because it's really freaking cute. I'll put the info on this down below, but I rented this from Rent the Runway. But look, it's like a scarf top. So it has adjustable straps. And then look at the back. So cute, right? And then I'll show you the bottom of my jeans, but they're like very floofy. Not floofy, why am I saying that? They're very like 
Is that okay? Can we see? Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. Here's the top. Again, very cute. Love it. So cute. Jeans. Can you see my shoes? I'm just wearing my M. Jemmy little like woven my little woven shoes. I love these. I bought these at the end of last summer. So comfortable. Honestly, there's no grip on the bottom though. Um, no grip at all. So you will go flying if you are on a slippery surface. And I just thought to bring out the green in this top, I'd pair it with this bag. I have no idea um, what Mike and I are doing tonight, but I feel really cool in this outfit. Um, so I'm gonna go with it. I really like this shirt. And honestly, I keep saying, I want like a more sophisticated vibe, like with more neutral colors, not like bright colors, no pattern, but I just, I feel like this is very me. Um, so let me know your thoughts on the fit, but I'm into it. 